Hey everybody! Boy, I am so humbled by all the responses and everything from the last video. So today we're going to cover how to make the Master Cleanse and the ACV, the Apple Cider Vinegar Cleanse, and then how to properly use it to rehydrate your body on a cellular level. So I'm really excited to do this for you. There's been so many questions, and I'm having a hard time keeping up with you. Uh, there's a few things I want to go over. One thing we, we don't understand about our body is, you hear a lot of people say, well, I drink water, but I pee so much, it just runs right through me. Yeah, that's because you're dehydrated. So I have this plant right here, and what I'm going to do is, this has not been watered for a while. I'm hoping this works. But many of you know, when you pour water on a plant, it doesn't really soak in. It just runs right through it. We'll see if it does it here. Well, the same thing is happening to your body. You're drinking, it's not being absorbed, it's not being utilized by the body. And of course, this is not gonna do that, so. <laughs> bad demonstration and I could not do it ahead of time. <laughs> so, normally you know yourself when you put water on something that's really super dehydrated it doesn't uh, it doesn't absorb or if it's dry ground and you put water on it, it just runs off. Same thing in our body. We drink the water and we're so dehydrated it just runs right through us and we pee a lot. So, We'll move this out of the way. <laughs> Sorry about that. But we're going to show you how to rehydrate your body with uh, the Master Cleanse or the apple cider vinegar or coconut water. It doesn't matter. It's how you drink it that makes the difference. So the first thing I was going to do is I'm going to make the Master Cleanse in this glass. So if you want to just make a glass to have in the morning and a heaping handful of red or very dark grapes, awesome. So I have a half a lemon here because I made myself a glass earlier. This is uh, day 14 on my 30 day cleanse. So all you do is squeeze it in here. And put in some maple syrup. Now on my cleanse, and I apologize, I cannot see your comments from here. What I'm going to do is, as soon as I get enough money saved up, I'm going to buy another phone so that I can have it here and I can watch the comments. So I can comment on, your, on the things you post. So, this is to taste. I put a little more in than I normally would because on this cleanse, this is my food. It has minerals in it. So you can put in that much, you can put in a ton, doesn't matter. It's up to you and it's up to your taste, your palate. So because it's food, and I am going to drink this later, I just wanted to show you this is basically it. We're going to put a little cayenne pepper in here. Other than water, we're done. So, you would fill that to the top. That is delicious. The secret Sip it every five or ten minutes. What will happen is, as you sip that, rather than run through, it's going to get a chance to absorb into your body, and your body can better utilize it. So that's how you make one glass. It's fast, it's quick, it's unbelievable for your body. So, one glass. 
Oh, and I, uh, I did forget to put salt in. And for one glass, you're just going to use just a touch. Some of you might want to know if that's conductive, especially with the maple syrup. Oh, we're not plugged in. I don't like to plug this in because that's 110 volts right to that. And I don't want to brush up against it or... Because this is live. We'll see if this will light this. And it's doing the same thing for your cells. You know what I think I'm going to do? Is I'm going to sacrifice this. Okay? If I put more salt in here, like we did in the last video, if you haven't seen it, please go watch it. This is a cell that's not fully charged. So if you're lethargic and you're not feeling very well, your cells are not producing enough energy. Now, this time I brought a little bit of uh, sugar. But I guess we're going to use this because I didn't bring a spoon. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> so, you can see how light that is. Now that will actually stay that way, even with the maple syrup in it. It will stay that way for like a week. But, let's say you have an Arizona iced tea. It has 18 teaspoons of uh, processed sugar. And then, you have a pastry. God only knows how many uh, um, how much sugar is in that. So, we have a weak cell right here. And we drop in just a tad of sugar. I mean, just a little tiny bit. And it will affect the light. You see it start to go down? Hopefully you can see that from there. It's actually gone out now. That's what's happening to your body. Your body has to take care of that poison. And as soon as it does, it will start to come back. But the weaker your adrenals are, the more issues you're going to have. Now the, see it's starting to come back now. I don't know if you can see it or not, but let me get my black shirt against it here. So it's fighting its way back, see, because it's dealing with the sugar. The weaker your adrenals are, the more you are affected by the sugar. It is life. It's just the way it is. So we'll take this out of here. And we'll set it over here for right now. I'm going to turn this off. This is actually how this thing generates electricity. And we are going to make our first 32 ounce master cleanse. <clears throat> If you have a large lemon like this, you can use one. And it doesn't matter how many lemons you use, it doesn't matter how much maple syrup you use, it doesn't matter how much cayenne pepper you use. What matters is you get it all in there and you drink it. So if you have a little lemon, like this one, compared to a big lemon, you might put two in. I, I usually do. If they're small, I put two in. And I've had, uh, all I've had today is one glass. That's it. And I've had three cups of tea. So what we're going to do is, we're going to dump this into a glass. Well, dump it. We're going to squeeze it in. We'll just use one, just because I'm, I'm doing this here. You know, the hydration of our body is so incredible, and we really, really need to pay attention to it. I'm going to step out of the camera here for a second. Hopefully I'm not cord. Let me take this off. I'll be back. Bring my water and my spoon. There. Just right on my collar. 
hopefully. There, bring my water and my spoon over. And normally I take the seeds out. I just do it by using the spoon to catch them and scoop them out of there. Now there's still some in there, but I'm going to uh, put this in here anyway. And another trick is to not tip the glass too fast, and the seeds will have a tendency to stay to the back of the glass. Just like that. Put in the maple syrup. And that's going to be a lot for a lot of people to go, oh my god, that much? No, it's to taste. And for me, this is my food. So yeah, I'm putting a little more in. A little salt. A little cayenne. You can put as much cayenne as you want, but always start light and work your way up so you don't make it so hot that you can't that you can't drink it. And then we're going to just fill the water. That's it. Then you just put the lid on it and shake it up and it's ready to go. Master cleanse. 32 ounces, one glass full. Now we're going to move on to the uh, apple cider vinegar the ACV cleanse. We're going to use Bragg's apple cider vinegar. It's live, it says live right on the label. And it's unfiltered and it's with the mother. <clears throat> this is the cheapest cleanse that I think you can find. Uh, this right here will cost you about 25 cents for 32 ounces. And this only costs like a buck. Depends on how many lemons you use. But I also have some uh, Celtic salt here. And we might put that in the uh, ACV. So what we do is we take this. I don't usually measure it. I let my body tell me how much. It's good right there. You can also use this in your Epsom salt baths. We're going to use some uh, turmeric. Wipe that off a little bit. Just about a level teaspoon. Put that in there. Just a little bit of pepper black pepper. What the black pepper does, and the reason that people put pepper on their food, it helps with the digestive system. Very important. Put in a little bit of maple syrup. To taste again, as always. And we'll put in a little bit of this Celtic salt. Just a little tiny bit, that's all you need. Because as we sweat, pee, and our tears are full of salt, those are the three channels that we really lose salt. Skin, urine, tears. So it's important that we replace that because our body doesn't make it. For people that are diabetic, and I didn't cover this the last time, blackstrap molasses is excellent instead of uh, the maple syrup but I just wanted to show you that that maple syrup is conductive 
So it's really important to include everything in these that are conductive. And I've had questions too about testing all different kinds of food to see if it would light. That's not what this test is about. It's about showing you that there is conductivity in live food, all live food. And the more conductive it is, the riper and the more juice it has in it. Things that are picked and they're not very juicy, uh, and they were picked before they were ripened, the conductivity level will go down. And that's true with all fruits, berries, melons, veggies, all of it. So it's, it's good to put a little bit of salt in there because the other thing that, you know, say you're on a salt-free diet, do you know that how, uh, minerals and hydration get in a cell through the salt? So you're killing the charge of your cell because you don't have the proper things that you're putting in. So that's, that's extremely important. So then we're going to, all we do is we fill this and it's ready. These are so quick and so beneficial and you can drink these, like have a sit every five or ten minutes or whatever. You don't have to time it. Another lid around here somewhere. And that's it. I mean, how quick is that? Shake it up. And you have to keep shaking this because the turmeric will kind of settle to the bottom. Excellent. Another thing I wanted to cover about this. People are saying, oh, I can't use apple cider vinegar because I have candida. Well, candida is a fungus and it's a type of parasite. What do pickles and all different types of pickled things, what do they use in it? They use vinegar. Why? Because yeast mold fungus cannot grow in it. And you have to put it above the top of whatever it is you're pickling because what's sticking out can grow mold, can grow different types of things that you don't want in that food. So that is a fungal killer. And I use it, I've used it for my candida, and you can actually feel it working. And when you put it in the tub, let's say you're kind of itchy in places that you don't really want to talk about, those sensitive places, you put that in your tub with uh, baking soda and Epsom salt, no more itching. Really important to realize that. And the Master Cleanse, these things are raising your vibration. And as that vibration goes up in your body, and vibration is cellular energy. As that energy goes up, those low vibrational, low energy creatures have to vacate. They cannot stand it. It's like you go to a concert and the music that's playing there is music that you really don't like. But you didn't know that was what was going to be there. And you go to leave and you can't because I've got the doors locked. You're going to go crazy. Same thing with parasites, yeast, mold, fungus, all of that. They like low vibrational things and they connect to your nervous system. And when they connect to it, they create cravings. So if you have cravings, you probably have parasites. And they won't let you alone. They don't let you sleep at night. They, I mean, they're hungry. And when they're hungry, they're going to get you up and they're going to force you to eat sugary things and, and all the things that create acid in your body because they use that to build their colonies. And as their colonies grow, they get stronger and you get weaker been there, had that happen, no more. I went through a time when I was incontinent. Well, you know what that is? It's electrical. So, it's a cellular issue. As soon as you get your body up, incontinence goes away. Because 
with the autonomic nerve in the gut. You get that gut floor up. You get the strength of the digestive system going, and that bad bacteria in there will go away. And it's there for a purpose. I don't know if anybody's ever told you that or not. But when you eat things, there are the body will take what's useful to it, and it discards the rest. So as it's discarding the rest, it's kind of floating around in there, there is bacteria in there that's eating that so it doesn't affect you as it goes through the system. Well, you get too much of that bad stuff in there and you don't have enough energy in your, in your digestive system to digest that food. Well, those colonies are going to grow because they can. They grow to the size of their food source. So it's really important to understand what's happening and to raise the level of your cellular energy. I cannot express that enough. It is unbelievable how powerful our bodies are. And when we give it what it needs, the good bacteria will grow and they eliminate the bad bacteria. Now another thing is the autonomic nerve sits in your gut and it runs right up through the solar plexus right up through into the cerebellum and <clears throat> excuse me when you're having uh, digestive issues an overgrowth of bad bacteria in the gut you can have things like dizziness fainting spells shortness of breath heart palpitations because it's all connected all the way right up through it controls your breathing rate it controls uh, your ability, your, your heartbeat, and your balance. So if you're having a lot of digestive issues, then that overgrowth is what is creating that. It's important to know that. And eventually, I'm going to get into... Uh, should I do it now? Why not? We have four major brains in our body. We have many brains, four major brains. And no, it's not that one. That one's sixth. <laughs> so, as we're thinking about things, see, we're trained we have a brain. Well, that right there is crazy, because right here we have two brains. We have a left that's logical and a right that is creative. Neither one nor the other one exists. They've actually done studies where they've disconnected one side and the other side still function. So, that's how powerful we are. We have two brains here. And it's the weakest of all of them. And I'm sorry if you have a high education and all this stuff. That's not really the point. You can be very smart, but this is still the weakest brain. The next brain, so there's two here. The third one is the gut. And the gut is a reactive brain. So when you see two people or you say something to somebody and they attack you, it shuts their brain off. This is fight or flight. That autonomic nerve is sympathetic, parasympathetic, which is this. It controls your muscles. It dilates your eyes. That's why people get incontinent, because the sphincter that holds all that back is weak, and it can't close tight. And the pressure from the bladder trying to get rid of that pushes it open. Same thing with the rectum. Those are sphincters. And when your electric's off, which is cellular energy, it's too weak, it can't hold things. So, these liquids right here, these live liquids and live foods, will help to nourish that. And how you drink these drinks, like just a sip at a time, over time, it will get absorbed into the body and it will help those cells strengthen. So you can be fit, flexible, and fabulous. Because that's what you are. You're an infinite being 
in an infinite universe with infinite potential in a world of abundance. Everything we have or that we need is all around us. And we are trained to doubt ourselves, to feel small, and we are also trained in scarcity. Oh, we're going to run out of this. Oh, we're going to run out of that. Oh my God, the, we're running out of, the, you know, everything that we hear is about scarcity. And it's easy to fall into that trap. But it's not true. We are infinite in an infinite universe, an infinite world. Right outside our door, everything is growing that we need to survive. We've just forgotten that... Outside, in nature, that's the garden. And everything is there for us, just waiting for us to learn how to go pick it. And some of our future videos will be on that very subject. On, like, milkweed. It's an astringent. Uh, I'm sorry, it's an adjutant. And if you have a wart or a mole, you break it and this white milk comes out of it and you... You should put a little uh, Vaseline around wherever it is, uh, some type of uh, a gel, and you touch that milk on there, <laughs> it'll get rid of it, because it's, it's an adjutant. So don't ever eat milkweed, but you can use the milk to eliminate things on your body, whether it's a wart, or no matter what it is. And it's going to look kind of nasty for a while, but it'll do it. And when the skin heals, it'll heal like it was never there. So, I mean, there are so many things that I want to share with you that it's incredible. But, the fourth heart is the heart. Excuse me, the fourth brain is the heart. This is 5,000, scientifically proven to be 5,000 times more powerful than the brain or the gut. And it's the one thing that we're taught not to use. As boys, we all grew up uh, when something hurt us or, or we watched a movie and, and we cried. Will you cry, baby? Oh my God, what's the matter with you anyway? You're such a sissy boy. And you learn to shut that off. This is the most powerful. It is the connection to everything. So it's time to rehydrate, re-energize, and let your heart open, and just, just talk to it. We talk about being uh, heart sick, and, and uh, heart felt, and, and I felt this in my gut, and, and you know, like up here, uh, it was such a strain on my, on my brain, I couldn't handle it anymore. These are all, these are all us talking about the different brains in our body. That's all it is. So when we start to realize how simple our body is and how it works, fight or flight, we can actually be stuck in fight or flight. That's more what PTSD is all about. It's up to us to learn these things and share these things with other people. That's how powerful we are. We are connected to universal energy and each other through this right here. Not through this, mm -mm. not through this, through this. The largest brain in our body is our heart and it's the one we are taught to ignore the most. Well, I'm saying open it up. You know, it's, well, I might get hurt. Yep, yep, you might. I think we've all been hurt. Even trying to protect it, we get hurt. So open it up and show the, show the love. Give hugs. Whatever it is, I'm sure many of you do. And, you know, I didn't mention this the last time, but uh, kind of text in the messages where you're from. And, you know, and when we get done with this, then I'll try to get to everybody. But it's so much fun to do these. The other thing, I've had a lot of questions about my hair, and uh, I use uh, 
Prime My Body hemp oil. And we are a distributor of that. So for those who are looking to balance their body, this is amazing. And I have the hair to prove it. Now we did not know that this would make my hair grow. Matter of fact, when we got this, we had no idea that it would do anything. So in the last video I have pictures of my scalp before and then just like a week later and it's already starting, it, it was growing and it's been, I don't know, probably eight weeks now. I've been through two of these bottles and one, one little one and it's filling in and it's not just filling in here, it's all the way back. I can actually feel it when I comb my hair or brush my hair. Uh, I can feel it's thicker. It's crazy. And it's growing in the color that it used to be. Black. Phenomenal. And there are other people that have been having the same experience. It's not, it's not just me because of who I am or anything like that. It's just mind-blowing. That's all I can say. And many things. Uh, I have a lot of molds on my body because I was full of fungus and you name it. I had it. It's all going away. Not just from this. It's from doing a cleanse. Now, if you're if you're not doing a cleanse like I am, like I've had no food, none, in 14 days. I only have 16 more to go to my 30 day mark. But I'm getting nutrients. The maple syrup is my food and I make special tea blends right here I make them myself and we'll do a, an episode on that that bring nourishment into my body but it's liquid it's liquid nourishment and like alfalfa let's say alfalfa if you're trying to uh, if you have friends that are, are trying to get off drugs or alcohol which is a drug. Uh, you have heavy metals. Alfalfa would help wash that out besides giving you nutrients. That's how powerful alfalfa is. It's not the most powerful, but it's very powerful. You can do this glass of Master Cleanse or the apple cider vinegar in the morning with a heaping handful of red or very dark grapes. Great for the digestive system. And that's what all these liquids are about. These live liquids, they carry their own enzymes with them. And as, as we eat, like we do the standard American diet or whatever it is we're eating, that food does not carry enzymes with it. So as you eat it, your stomach starts to swell and it sends a signal to the pancreas, then the liver, and the liver contacts the gallbladder. Pancreas sends in the enzymes to digest your food and there's a lot of pressure on it because there's no enzymes in the food. And the liver sends in the bile depending on what it is and the oils and all that stuff to help digest the food. So when you're drinking, and, and it takes a lot of energy, we talked about that in the last video, 60% of the energy that you have in your body is going to digest your food, and every time you eat, you're forcing it to do that. That's why we fall asleep, that's why we get lethargic, that's, it's, it's incredible. So when you do this, this has enzymes and electrolytes in it. Enzymes help digest what's in there, and the electrolytes help charge your body and hydrate it. That's how powerful these things are. I know it's very simple and simple is always the best. It's always the best and it's always the most powerful for your internal body. It's cleansing, hydrating and electrifying as well as digesting at the same time without putting the burden on your stomach. So if you did this for breakfast, just one glass and the grapes, 
it'll, it'll, honestly, it'll change your life. The hemp oil, amazing. This cultic salt, Celtic salt, excuse me. The Celtic salt has 86 minerals in it. Most of the food you're eating has three, NPK, because that's what farmers are using. They're using as little as they can to get a great looking crop, and then they sell it to you. And it's, it's mineral and nutrient deficient. So we're trying to make up for it with all these things. Unless you're growing your own stuff. You're growing your own stuff and you control the soil because we are the soil of the earth and we are the stars. So that's our connection. Our solar plexus. Solar. All these little things, you know, they mean so much as we travel through this life. And as we get older, you know, over time, eating the standard American diet, put so much pressure on our body that we start to get weak cellularly, we get dehydrated, and we start to lose our energy. So I think that's about it for today. I think I've covered everything. I've covered the, the four brains. This is one thing. This is how weak our brain is. And I'm not talking about our ability to think. It questions itself all the time. And what does it do? It, sometimes it can't make a decision. Your heart never, never has that issue. It knows, but we ignore it because we've been trained to ignore it. You know? So, how come your heart, uh, how come your mind never knows when you're sick until pain starts or it's too late. You hear people all the time that are really sick and they don't know until they go to a doctor because they're in so much pain that they have an issue. Well in the duality of the world we have two brains one is an eight, and an eight is quantum brain. But we've lost touch with that because we don't talk to ourselves. But our cells are listening. If you say, oh, my life sucks, and oh, this, and, and I have such a hard time, and, and I understand because I've been there. In 1979, I was pronounced dead in an automobile accident. And... I came back a completely different person. I had over my whole scalp was ripped off, crushed my whole right side. They told me I'd never walk again. They were going to amputate this arm. But when I came to, I said, I'm going to be an artist. I created a sign shop that took me all over the world. I mean, it was amazing. What's even more incredible about that is, at that time, I couldn't read or write. The whole time I had my sign shop, I could work in any language, anywhere, because I was drawing symbols. I was not writing words. And many of you know, if you read my posts and stuff, they get a little wonky. That is a 1,000% increase of what I used, well, because I couldn't. I spent six years living in my van traveling around America, wrote my, taught myself to read and write, wrote my first book that was published in 2005 called Prisoners of Our Own Beliefs, because that's what I found out. I was a prisoner of my own belief that I couldn't read or write. Many of us carry those things in the back of our, our mind. That's where I shove that. I put it in that deep dark place in the back of my mind. We hide all the things you don't want anybody to know about. Well, can you imagine having a sign shop and hundreds of customers all over the world that come to you? I should say hundreds around me. If you include the world, I have thousands of customers. And not being able to read and write and hiding from that, 
yikes. <laughs> I was scared to death that somebody would find out. Who would hire a sign painter that can't read or write? So I had people around me that could handle that. Same thing for you. You have a story. And I understand it can be crippling or it can be cause great self-doubt in what you do. Step forward. Be an explorer. That's what we're here for. We're here to explore everything. And this right here is no different. We're, we wait for people to tell us what they've discovered. Well, now it's time for us to step forward and start to become a discoverer in our own world. One last thing before I go. The body is split right down the middle. Like the brain has two sides that don't know the other one exists. And we are dominant on one side or the other. Okay? Our left brain or our right brain is dominant. We have a dominant left or right eye, left or right ear, left or right nostril, left or right hand. We have a dominant left, left or right leg. We even have a dominant side we chew our food on. But nobody's going to tell you that. Well, except me. Because I think about these things for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, and I take the what's complex and I have a tendency to boil it down to something very simple for us all to understand. So our body is split right down the middle. The left side does not know the right side exists. The right side does not know the left side exists. Yet they work in harmony to keep us healthy, or they try, when we give them what they need to do that. They are controlled by our kidneys. Now think about that. They're controlled by our kidneys. So, as our, let's say, one of our kidneys gets weak, say it's on the right hand side. Well, it's the channel to eliminate cellular waste from the body, and if it starts to get congested, that waste starts to build up on this side. And you can end up with MS, cancer, lupus, you name it, you can end up with it on this side of your body because your kidney's not built in. That's how crazy and how simple our bodies are. We take care of our kidneys and we get our skin to sweat through proper hydration and nutrients. We will be fit, flexible, and fabulous all day long, every day. We'll sleep well. The whole works. That's how our body works. It doesn't matter if you're hypo or hyper either. This works for the body in the middle, the balance. Just like the head and the gut, the heart is the balance. It's in the middle. That's how powerful we are. We're infinite. So with that, I think it's time to wrap this up. And thank you for coming by and being involved in this. You know, as I'm just a simple guy with simple ideas and I love to share them and I appreciate you being here and I am so humbled by the response to the first video. So I just want to say I love you all and hope that your journey on the road to Wellville is smooth sailing. Because sometimes it can get a little rough. But if it does, you contact me and I'll help you as much as I can figure out how to maintain that balance. How to find your balance. So that you're not detoxing too fast, which is possible. Because if we can detox too slow, we can detox too fast. And with that, again, I love you all. Keep smiling. And I will see you in the next video. Alright? Take it easy, everybody.